cicadas. Whether you think they're friend or foe, apparently they've long been fascinating to researchers. 1919, an NBS physicist publishes a research proposal suggesting the use of sound ranging, a technique developed at NBS during World War I to identify the positions of enemy guns. Instead of spotting weapons, he proposes we use it to estimate the size of the cicada populations by measuring the intensity of the brood's screechy sound. Sadly, best we can tell, no one takes him up on the offer. 1936. Two NBS scientists and a USDA entomologist round up a batch of cicadas and bring them to the NBS sound laboratory to record a frequency analysis of the cicada song. It doesn't become a top 40 hit. Also 1936, an NBS scientist takes detailed time-lapse photographs as cicadas go from pupa to mature form and publishes them in a scientific paper. Compared with today's cell phones, the pictures may seem a little grainy. 1953, an NBS scientist is midway through an Air Force-funded color reconnaissance study when he is asked to look at the changes in leaves killed by the cicadas as part of the study. The notes for this request read, Result, no measurements made. Maybe the Air Force decided the cicadas weren't a sufficient Cold War threat. Or maybe NBS interest in cicadas was just beginning to wane. 2021. Well, thanks to a pandemic, these fascinating creatures have not been our highest priority. But maybe we'll have something new in 2038.